And still to come on Eyewitness News, so you'd like to build your own computer. Surprising as it may seem, maxi computers and microcomputers are similar in more ways than they are different. The two kinds of computer differ mainly in size. Components found in one are almost always found in the other. This is what a disassembled multi-million dollar computer looks like. And this is what a $2,000 computer looks like before it's put together. The big machine will take a couple of weeks before all the cables are connected. The little computer will have only to wait for all the accessories to arrive by parcel post. When ready to go, the microcomputer cards simply plug into the back. Both the Maxi and the Micro have a central processing unit, or CPU. Both machines have some memory. The big one can quickly get at millions of pieces of information called bytes. The Micro can access many thousands of bytes. Programs and data that are not used all the time are stored on various kinds of magnetic surfaces. The big machines use reels of magnetic tape, while the little ones frequently use regular audio cassettes. It isn't Linda Ronstadt or Boston Pops, but it does have a unique sound to it. Where speed is of the essence, magnetic disks are used. The disks rotate quickly and information is retrieved much the same way as tracks on a record. The little computers use smaller and less expensive floppy disks. So with a good microprocessor and plenty of memory, you're all ready to go out and rival the biggest computers around, right? Well, not quite. You still need programs to run in all those electronics. Tomorrow, a look at how programming influences the applications of home computing. Henry Birdseye, TV4, Eyewitness News.